Hey everybody, this is Michelle Baker, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to create a custom die cut sticker using a JPEG, a, a photo. So what I've done is found a photo of these cute little guys, and I've dropped it in here, and this is what it looks like. I took my pen tool, and I made a path along their heads to, so that I could write my text. And then I typed on that path with the type on a path tool right here underneath the type tool. If you click on the type tool, you can get the type on a path tool. And if you go down here and click, it puts a placement text on there for you. Now, if your line's all jagged like that, of course you can take your time and do it neater. You can also use your selection tool to press on it and use your smooth tool to hit shift and kind of go over your line and see if you can smooth it out a little bit and get it to where you like it. If not, you can always just take your time and make a nice path with your pen tool. So I'm gonna delete that and show you how to make this sticker get to the shape that you want it. So right now this is a photo and I'm going to zoom out a little bit by clicking on my magnifying glass and hitting option and clicking till we zoom out just a little bit. Okay, so this is the photo. I'm gonna just bring a copy by clicking option and clicking on my photo and dragging a copy over here. The first thing we have to do is turn this JPEG, this photo, this is raster. We need it to be vector. So we're gonna go up to the image trace button here and I'm going to select high fidelity photo. And it's going to tell me that, hey, this is going to take a while. Are you sure you want to do this? And I would click OK. That warning didn't come up. It's actually already changed our photo now into a vector artwork. And the next thing we have to do before we do anything else is click expand. Now we see anchor points everywhere. They have It's made vector art out of this photo. I'm just going to click off in the gray space so you can see the photo. Now I can slice this photo up because it's vector. And what I want to do is take this photo and actually make it the shape over here. So let's do that. I'm going to use, um, I'm just going to use my eraser tool. Actually, um, it'll work just fine for what I want to do. And I'm going to go around and I'm going to leave room for my words because I want to put my words in there. So I'm just going to go around the fingers like this. And come down to here. And it takes just a minute because there's a lot of anchors to do a high fidelity trace. And now I can click on the pieces I don't want and delete them. But first, I need to ungroup it. So I'm going to hit Shift, Command, G and ungroup all of that. And then I can come in and get pieces and delete. You can also take your eraser, make it a little bit bigger. Um, you don't know how to make the size of your brush bigger. You can go up to, I like to use the buttons to the right of the P. They look like parentheses. And the parenthesis on the left makes it smaller and the right makes it bigger. So I'm just, now that my brush is a little bit bigger, I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to just erase what I don't want. You can also click on the anchor points when they get smaller so I can come in. Okay, and so now I've got this edge along here that I could smooth out um, if I wanted to, but I think that um, it's okay, and I can smooth it out just a little bit if I want to. Okay, so for this tutorial, what I want to show you is how to make a shape behind it so that your sticker has this cute little white border, if if you want that. Um, and you can make that border smaller or bigger, however you like. All right, so what we wanna do, now that we've got it cut out, we just wanna make a copy. Let me click Option, 
and drag a copy right next to it. I'm working off of my artboard in the gray space. So now it doesn't matter what color this is right now. We just need to combine everything here with Pathfinder. Um, and so we're going to go to Window, uh, Pathfinder, Unite everything together. Okay, and that's fine. And I actually just want the color to be white. So I'm going to click on it and ask it to turn it to white. Now, this is the exact same size. And I want to have a little bit of a white border. So to get it bigger, you go up to Object, Path, Offset, Path. Watch it get just a little bit bigger. Boop. See how it got bigger? All right. And so if I want this smaller, I don't want it to be that big. I can make this number smaller. But right now, 0.125 is about a quarter of an inch. And that is good for me. So I'm going to click OK. Now, my cute little picture, I want to group it all together, too, to make sure all my anchor points um, that I've chosen everything. I'm going to group it together, and it's behind the object. That's not a big deal. You can just right-click um, your object, right-click, and go down and hit Arrange, um, and tell it to go to the back. And there it is. It had um, the original shape. And so if you want to center these together, you click with the selection tool and draw this imaginary box around them and ask... Uh, the Align tool, which you can find under Window. Go down to Align, it's alphabetical, Align A. Ask it to center it horizontally and center it uh, vertically, align it together, and there they are. Now you can actually group this together. All right, and so like I told you before, I copied my words. I mean, I, um, I used a pen tool to make a path and get my words. And I'm just going to take a copy of that and place it here to show you uh, the final product. Now, if I want to, I could shave some of this off. And um, so if you if you get it to this point, you see like, hey, you know, I want it kind of shaved off here because you know, the one that I have over here is more, um, it's more symmetrical. So um, let's say you get it to this point, you're like, I'm not happy with this right here. That's not a big deal at all. All you have to do is um, you can ungroup it. Take your object here and delete it and just shave off a little more. So I've got my cut tool and I'm just going to shave a little more. This is my eraser tool. I'm going to just round out the bottom there go. and then come over here and round out this edge. I like that. And I want to get a little more of a dip right here just for fun. And kind of carving on it and so now you have to make that background shape one more time which isn't a big deal so let me show you one more time okay so you want to make a copy of this whole thing as you you know want to group it together first and then make a copy and then uh, command paste, command V over here on the side. Now remember, it doesn't matter. Uh, the image can disappear in this because we have our image here. Uh, so we go up to um, Pathfinder. Remember, if you can't find it in your properties panel to the right, you can go up to Window and down to Pathfinder. And it has a check mark because I actually have my Pathfinder box right here. You click Unite. It's going to unite everything together into one color. Um, and then you can tell it, hey, I want uh, the color to be white. Okay. And so it has our original um, shape in there. It actually has our words underneath. So we don't need those anymore, um, but we can change the color if we wanted to. So this is the shape we need. And it's actually the exact same size of our sticker. And what we want is that offset path, right? So we want that little white border. So this is how you do that. You click on your object, your shape. This can be any shape that you want. Um, and then you just go to path, offset path. And there you have it.
you've got this nice little, that's the original shape. You can delete that. And then you just put this behind your sticker by right clicking, go to arrange and send it to the back. Then you select both of them and you align them together. And now they're ready to be grouped together and sent to the artboard. And there you have it. That's how I made this cute little sticker, which is a great quote, by the way. Um, it's not happiness that makes you grateful. It's gratefulness that makes you happy. It's a cute little reminder. It's gratefulness that makes you happy. All right, y'all. Hope you have a great day and hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully it shared something with you that you didn't know. Have a great day.